The Rachel Papers by Martin Amis is about a young man in London cramming hard to get into Oxford to read English literature and learning fast about life in the metropolis. Sex and scholarship seem to be the two drives in this book, but what did you find were the dangers of writing about adolescence? Well, the first one <coughs> perhaps was just the same as any first novelist feels, the fear of being no good, not being having any talent, can't make it come alive. The second one, intensified by that, perhaps, was the danger of making it boring in the way adolescence is boring, hysterical, winsome, grotesque, a sort of pimply rant. Um, so I find I had to detach myself, although I was very near to adolescence. I wrote the book when I was 22. Um, I had to get some sort of perspective on it to make it interesting to not adolescence. Another almost a convention of novels about adolescence is that they should have a go at what you call the oldsters at some stage or other about something or other. What particularly do you think you were having a go at? Um, well, the, the, the narrator is, is physically very self-conscious and actually treats his body as, as someone of 60 might worry about their bodies. So naturally, uh, the world of the oldsters is sort of grand guignol, decay and horror. And that's just to indulge the adolescent disgust that um, is apparently very prevalent at the moment. What depressed me in a way, and what I wanted to ask you was, um, do, wh why the, the hostility towards women in it? It really made me feel a bit creepy sometimes. Well, it was, um, it was about a special sort of adolescence, at the point where sex has become fundamentally unmysterious. Um, I tried to exaggerate this. I mean, I wouldn't like you to think I felt that way about women. That's um, really what I wanted to know. <laughs> no, not at all. No, I'm much, much more gallantry than uh, my hero. But um, he, as Melvin said, it's about sex and scholarship in a jokey way. And he's scholarly, scholarly about sex and sexual about scholarship. Um, he's read up on sex. I thought mm. this was just the only way to make it funny, to make mm. actually carnal rather than erotic sex funny, uh, rather than boring or disgusting or whatever.